two, one, go! Say ye ho, me ma. Welcome back, everybody. So, a uh, update on the track. Um, I know I've had quite a few people ask me on social media and stuff what's going on with the track. So, the videos, the clips, and stuff that you just watched uh was from christmas and right there at christmas uh where we were um <clears throat> trying to do some i guess you say testing and having fun um but since we've had quite a bit of rain um we've had snow uh, uh let me say this hope everybody had a merry christmas happy new year um so uh, quite a bit of rain and then it snowed the other day so the yard's kind of soggy and muddy and whatnot but I'm going to do a walkthrough of some things that I'm going to try to do as far as improvements or whatnot with the track. <laughs> FedEx dude is getting it. So I'm going to go over a few things um, and spots that I'm going to clean up and I feel like this is going to be a pretty fast track even with the smaller go-karts and stuff like we got. Um, that one that you've seen in the video was a Coleman KT196. Got that from Tractor Supply. Um, I'm going to build me something on my own. I've not decided if I want a go-kart or if I want a lawnmower. So, um, so this turn right here coming into this turn, I don't know if you can see the depth of it, like how I can see. Um, tried to work on it a little bit by hand. As you see, it's kind of, kind of wavy got a lot of bumps to it it's not completely smooth so that's a priority on this turn right here is smoothing this down as much as possible because it does get really bumpy um, as far as the straightaways um, 
Yeah, get it. Do it for Dale. Um, as far as the straightaways, we can drag these uh, and get them smooth as glass. If we do, if I can do that, then, you know, the straightaways will just be all out. Um, especially that side over there. It's actually not unrealistic coming out of that turn and hitting that hump. You know, if you get enough speed, you can lock in, you can come over that hump, and it doesn't really slow you down that much. It's just a fun little addition. Um, have talked about with some friends about moving that maybe down here a little bit more. I know reverse layout, I can get a lot of speed coming around that corner, and then when I hit that, I could actually catch air with that go-kart, but by the time you land, you're already in the turn. So, again, once we get this phased in, uh, get this one perfect, we are going to add the rest of the track over here. Um, be part two, but I want to get this one solidified first. Um, right here where it slopes down, it's kind of at an angle. It's a little bit flatter here. I'm thinking about shaving this section and blending it in so it goes with the turn this turn itself is pretty good just needs to be smoothed out and drag it a little bit you can actually come in down here and run a high line you can get a high line you see where the marks are right there and then it'll swoop right down through there so something that i wanted to add to this one i feel like is important is where it droops off right there um Depending on the line that I could choose, make, or take. Um, I might add a little bit more right there. Kind of give it that embankment. And then, other than that, this turn will be pretty good. It actually, the, all this rain kind of helps us determine uh, where the runoff is going to be. You know, as far as where all the mud or the dirt and stuff is going to wash down. Um, and puddle up. So as you can see, you, know, you get a pretty good idea of it. We had some hard rain there for about two or three days. It actually filled my pool back up. So I had, just went ahead and turned the pump and stuff back on because I mean, pump was full or the pool's full. So that coming in the straightaway, I mean, it's really quick. And get a few spots out of here if i have to you know we, we talked about installing uh maybe some type of drain or something that would help um to keep from washing out uh not not 100 sure on what i want to do there i do want to make this as cool as possible and racetrack style as possible because i want to get some pretty quick machines out here have some uh buddy races as you see um I can't remember what I put in the last video, but we have ran the track a little bit. We wore it out, but since Christmas, I mean, we've had, Christmas was one of our nicer days. Uh, we did have some 75 degree weather after that. So we, you see the tracks, we kind of wore it out. I've took some cars uh, up through here, kind of pack it down a little bit, side by side. You've seen that in one of the first clips. Um, pretty good seeing it from this angle if we can just kind of slope it a little bit and it right into that turn and come back out and get that bank over there taken care of and this will be this will be a damn good track so this is update number three uh as soon as we get to moving some dirt again shout out to mark um appreciate it uh coming out moving some things around but well actually just making this happen and uh you know entertaining my stupid ideas but yeah um if you find yourself first time on this channel checking it out or you know if you got some family or some friends that's kind of interested in watching this it's uh redneck entertainment there will be more to come so drop a subscribe uh if you like the video you like the updates give it a thumbs up drop me a comment uh, put a comment down there what you think uh, and maybe an idea tag me on social media uh, there is social media links down below in the description tag me on social media draw up what you think the small edition should be uh, and tag me in it i'll share it and uh, hell if i get enough of them i'll put it up for a vote if it's something that i like i'll put it up for a vote let the public decide but 
anyways no rambling no more rambling sporting links down below like subscribe peace out everybody